Among the many honours awarded to service personnel today is a posthumous George Medal for a Royal Navy officer murdered by a member of his own crew. Lieutenant Commander Ian Molyneux was shot as he tried to stop a gun rampage on board HMS Astute in Southampton last year. Will Inglis reports. HMS Astute was in Southampton on a goodwill visit in April last year when able seaman Ryan Donovan signed out an SA-80 for sentry duty and started shooting. Weapons engineering officer Ian Molyneux charged Donovan to try to stop him before he could reach the control room, but was shot in the head. The citation for his George Medal reads, Lieutenant Commander Molyneux, with complete disregard for his own safety, had deliberately made an effort to tackle the gunman, knowingly putting himself into extreme danger in order to try to safeguard others from personal injury. His actions were incalculably brave and were carried out in the highest possible service traditions of courage and selfless commitment. Another officer was shot and seriously wounded before two visiting dignitaries disarmed the gunman. They're both honoured today as well. One of them, Councillor Royston Smith, says it all happened so fast. It's difficult to know how long it was, but if you play it back in your mind, it couldn't have been very much more than a few seconds. But um, I don't know about your life passing more slowly, but you certainly see it really, really clearly, so it feels like a lot longer. The thing that I'm left with is that um, you know things could have worked out very differently, much worse, um, but they could have worked out much better, and unfortunately, uh, someone's not here today that should have been and it wasn't his fault and he did everything he could to prevent anyone else suffering the same fate. Gunman Ryan Donovan eventually pleaded guilty to Lieutenant Commander Molyneux's murder and three attempted murders. He was jailed for a minimum of 25 years. HMS Astute, meanwhile, is expected to go operational for the first time later this year. Will Inglis, Forces News.